one of my all-time favorite limited deals that I got way back in 2019 has come back with a slight twist. This is Brizzy. This is a landing page builder. I originally got it for the WordPress plugin, but they're now back on AppSumo with their cloud uh, infrastructure. Essentially, this will host your website. You don't need to worry about WordPress or hosting. And the deal is very reasonable. $59 gets you access, five websites, five workspaces, and it just goes up from there up to what's 10 codes, uh, 590, you can have 50 websites, 50 workspaces. And also included is the AI builder, which I'll show you that in a second. You can make landing pages, uh, multi-page websites. And for me, this is a really, really solid tool. I found the team to be very responsive. They've continually rolled out updates. They've got a YouTube channel where there's constant support, a really good, solid product. And as you can see, I've been using it for a long time. I've been messing around. I use it for a lot of testing stuff as well. So you can see we've got a lot of these random sites. So you can make as many of these test sites as you want. And in some cases, what I'll do is make a site and then migrate it to a WordPress website if I'm doing something with a client. So this is your main dashboard when you first log in. I've only got the one workspace, but the deal allows you to create different workspaces. If you're not sure um, what a workspace might be used for, just press this. And this workspaces little... are used to group your projects. A little video pops up, very helpful. You can see you can filter by all projects, your websites, your pop-ups and your stories. I haven't really done any stories, as you can see. I think I tried one and got rid of it. The pop-ups work really well, actually. This is a way of creating a pop-up that you can embed on another website. So that's a pretty handy feature. Uh, but it's the websites that we're really interested in. So when you click on it, you get the option websites, pop-ups and stories. So let's create a website. They've recently introduced Generate with AI, which is a really cool feature. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now, here's where things get really interesting. If you're an agency, you can use this tool to generate a website for an existing business and then go and present it to them as a, as a bit of a draft. So at the side, you can select the language you want to pick from. I'm going with English. And I found on Google Maps um, a roofing company. Don't know them, but you can see when I put it in, it pulls up the details. So I'm going to select them. I'm going to say next step, pick the industry. So, so if roofing doesn't come up or your particular industry doesn't come up, you need to have a little scroll through. So for this one, I'll use construction. Say so next step. Now, if you have it, you can add the business description, phone number and email. So let's just pull these from the Google listing. Once you've submitted that information, it's now going to build the AI site. And you can see this is doing it in real time. I'm not speeding this up. I'm just having a chat to fill the space. This will give you a start site you can show people and edit. But of course, you may want to start from scratch. So here we go. So here we have the uh, roofing site. So it's got the name at the top. We've got about services review. Let's go down. We've got some roofing images what we do. So it's taking this information from the information I gave it. So flat roofing, gutter installations, gutter repair. It's even, now this is a generated uh, testimonial. So this is good to show clients and then they can give you the testimonials and you can add them in. And it's even got the map. It's pulled the map up. But if you're not a fan of this look, let's say it's just not doing it for you, this little button down here, you can regenerate with AI just the text and titles, the images, uh, typography, colors, or we'll do the entire page. This is now going to run the entire thing again, but come out with a different looking website. This looks a little bit more business-like. So if we go down, you can see it's come up with a completely new design. We've still got some good pictures. We've got the get in touch. We've got the contact us. Yeah, very cool. So let's say that is of interest to us. We say edit and publish. So basically, once you've signed up to Brizzy, in less than five minutes, you can have a draft website up and running and ready to go. So what I'm now in is the Brizzy editor. And one of the reasons I've really enjoyed Brizzy over the years is I just find it a lot easier to use than other tools such as Divi or Elementor. I think the Brizzy approach is a really nice simplified approach. So at the side here, we can go and view the menu structure. So we've got the home page. You can do 
blogging on Brizzy Cloud. It's a lot harder than doing it on WordPress and you can't integrate tools with it, but it's there. You can have the stories, you can have pop-ups and alerts, and you can add different users. And then in the project settings, this is where you set up your fav icon. You've got SEO settings, so you can set up the site title and description and set the visibility. You've got sharing options. You've got your system pages, so it's got a coming soon page, for example. There's translation options. And quite importantly, actually, you can add your own code. So that might be if you're using some sort of uh, tracking Google Analytics, or maybe you've got some other codes that you need to add in, you can do so here. There's also webhooks, which allow you to send data from one application to another. I've not experimented with them. And you can also manage your redirects. So Brizzy works by having a simple element structure. So you have columns, rows, text, images, and just any of these different things you want, you can just drag on. Um, so let's say we want uh, another image there, just drag that on. And then we can attach an image. You can just upload the image into the media library. So not at all relevant to this site, but it's just a thumbnail I did recently. So let's just insert that. So there you go. Just go back in, you can add all the other elements. And the way Brizzy structures the, the site page is these are blocks. So you can see this blue line, these blue lines indicate blocks and it allows you to very quickly and easily drag and reorder. So you can quickly move things around the page so that it fits uh, your overall style. Let's say you're missing something, you want to add a new block, simply press plus. You've got a load of really nice pre-designed blocks one criticism I would have is I don't think they've released any new blocks for quite a long time, probably because they've been working to get the cloud and AI builder done. There's a lot there though, and you can customize each one of them. And you can see down the side, the range, you can have light blocks, you can have dark blocks, your hero blocks, feature blocks. So it's very easy to find them. And they even do a full layout. So if you're starting from scratch and not using the AI builder, you can come into the layouts, pick one of those, and if that's more suitable, you can simply click on that and have that imported in. So there's a lot of options to get you started. You can see they've got a lot of templates already there. And you go ahead and customize them and make it your own. So down the bottom here, as you'd expect, you can view this on desktop, tablet and mobile to make sure everything looks good. I will say I generally find Brizzy needs the least amount of work when changing between these different formats. In some other web builders, I find I have to do quite a lot of work to get the mobile view looking good, whereas Brizzy looks good most of the time on its own. So that's a big plus and a big time saver. Each of these blocks has its own little toggle here, and that brings up your additional settings. So you've got options to make it global, so you can use it on multiple page. You can adjust the colors, the backgrounds, the filters, the masks, the overlays. You can save it as a reusable block for later on. You can manage your links. You've got your, your widths and your heights and all that kind of stuff. It does take a little bit of getting used to, but I have still found this to be the easiest way of creating a good looking site. Other builders I've used, you kind of have to route through a lot of menus. Whereas if I want to edit something on this block, th this is where I need to go. So it's kind of self-explanatory as you go through it. Once you kind of learn the Brizzy way, it becomes quite easy to navigate your way around and get things looking how you want. So when you start a new page, this is what you see. You can simply go in and kickstart the process by selecting one of the many layouts I showed you before. You can start adding blocks or you can just create your own. So that's now an empty space for you to go in and you can add your columns. You can add text to one, image to another. You see, this is just so quick and easy. Then we want to have another one. And then on each of these, you can click to make further sub selections as you go through it. And of course, if you've got any saved blocks, you can reuse those. So these are some that I've used elsewhere. So let's just have a little click on this one. And there you go. So that's pulled it in. That's put in uh, a block that I've used elsewhere. You can see it's got a header menu and this will be at the top of the page, for example, like so. And so that's how you can very quickly repurpose your content. So if you've got some really great looking blocks that you want to use across different sites, you can save them and use them across as many sites as you want. When you've completed your project, you've got a few options for publishing. Brizzy will host it all and deal with it fully. 
and you can add a custom domain, you'll need to buy that from a third party, someone like Namecheap, and then you'll point that domain to Brizzy Cloud and they'll deal with all the hosting for you. You can host it for free using one of their uh, brizzy.sites names. So I might do that in a second and, and show you one. Or you can uh, export it and download it and use it elsewhere. So you can export the HTML files. So if you're a little bit tech savvy, you could just get to tier one to gain access to the platform, five sites, you could build sites and then export them elsewhere. And I guess they're fine with that because it gets you using the platform, gets them feedback, but it doesn't cause them hosting costs because you're actually hosting it elsewhere. So for this test project, let's just choose a subdomain, roof to roof. And so there we go, roof to roof .brizzy dot site is now a live website. So that's a very quick overview of the deal. I'll put an affiliate link below, support the channel, go click on that and check it out. As I say, this has been one of my favorite tools to use and I was quite surprised to see them come back to AppSumo. So if you think you like the look of it, as I say, you can get a lot done just with that single $59 option, or you can go all the way up if you plan to you know, really integrate it into your agency and get 10 codes up to you. Check out the deal below, let me know what you think.